Okay, well, welcome everyone to our latest European Shiatsu Congress and New Energy Work webinar. And I'm very, very happy to introduce uh, Joyce Vlaarkamp all the way from the Netherlands uh, for our second uh, partnered webinar. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you'd just like to play, tell us where you're from in the chat, there we are, look, Vienna, Spain, Alberta. There we are, America. We've got, we got quite a few from America, Joyce. Oh, wow. Scotland, Spain, some from the Netherlands. So you've got some fans in the Netherlands. Quite a few from Amsterdam, Canada. Wow. Istanbul. Wow, you've got a pretty, wow. exotic, a pretty exotic group there. Well, while we're watching them come in, I'm going to just play the um, intro video. That's just the uh, partner video. You'll see that coming on. Um, France, Wales. Well, there's some names, very familiar names there. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. You've got a lot of fans in, in the Netherlands. Definitely. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Thank you right. for having me, Cliff. That's nice. You're most welcome. I'm going to just share your, um, your slides now. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this uh, this. Uh, webinar. We've obviously we've had we've had a rehearsal, and it's supposed to be just a five-minute technical rehearsal. It turned into a thirty-minute chat about shiatsu, the history of shiatsu, and everything. Couldn't really yeah. stop. <laughs> it was very interesting. It's been fascinating to meet you, and really looking forward to the webinar. So, it's um, they're still coming in. People from all over the world. We've had three over three hundred and fifty people sign up, which is awesome. Wow. And, um, <laughs> Some of you will be watching this as a recording, obviously at home after the event, but we've had 350 signups, so that's very, very, uh, that's great. So over to you, Joyce, the inner landscape. Yeah, yeah Cliff, th th this, is, uh, this is my, um, my favorite topic at the moment, mm -hmm. the inner landscape, because I was trained as a shelter therapist and uh, acupuncturist and Japanese acupuncture, and I was never, ever introduced to the inner landscape. And now I've no now I know about it. I I feel like sharing it because it's very important. Mm -hmm. And the inner landscape is um, maybe we'll elaborate on it a lot with pictures, and we can see a lot about it. And uh, but the the thing is, we in shots we we work from a certain wholeness. Yeah, we we treat the body, mind, spirit as as equal. Mm -hmm. But uh, in fact, we work from a certain dualism uh, because there's the, uh, the inner landscape and the outer landscape. Uh -huh. And the outer landscape is more like uh, the body that we can touch, that we, that we, the skin, the muscles, the bones, that's where our Western medicine works from. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's the inner landscape, that's the inner, more inner body that is uh, the the body where the symbols are, the metaphors, and that's uh, the key or the chi landscape. That's that's where our our uh, trade works from. Yes. And yeah. and and when I first started, I couldn't wait for science to prove about key or chi. And there's lots of people busy with that, I know. But now I, I know about the inner landscape. I I realize that that our our shiatsu comes from a different perspective. And uh, it comes from a different science, a different scope, mm -hmm. and it has, it, it's no use in proving uh, chi at the moment for me now anymore, because I realize we come from a, from a different point of view. Yes. So yes. this is what I wanted to share and want to, wanted to Thank you. That's uh, promote. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Okay, let's have a look at the first slide. Oh, we got a poll straight away. Okay, so the poll we're going to ask everyone is, how, do you know about the concept of the inner landscape? Okay, so I'm just going to um, I'm going to launch this poll, and we'd just like you to fill it in, so we've got some idea of how much knowledge, prior knowledge, you have about the inner landscape. If they 100% say they know all about it, we can just finish now and yeah. go and have a cup of tea. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Look, you, you've got a big oh. audience here. You've got, 30, you've got more or less exactly a third of people are familiar, 
a third don't know anything about it, and a third are not sure. So we've got 70, uh, 65% are, they don't know, or they're not sure. So you've got quite a lot of people to introduce it to today. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with the outcome. Many yes. people know about it. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So let's go mm -hmm. back. Okay, so let's go to the next slide then. All ah, right, here's the second poll. This is going to be another interesting one. So in Shiatsu, we work from the Hara, and that's basically how I was taught initially. And mm -hmm. so what Joyce wants to know is, did you ever learn anything about working from the heart center or the Shen? Okay, so we're going to ask this one as a, as a, um, as a poll too, just, uh, just to find out. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, they're very fast on the poll. 81%. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. About half the people have come across some kind of work yes. from the Heart Center for yeah. Shen, but quite a lot haven't, or they're not sure. About yeah. half uh, haven't, hmm. or are not sure. So there we are. Got quite a big audience of people to find out about, about it. Okay, great. Okay, so let's go on to the next. You just tell me when you want to go to the next slide and I'll put them along for you. Yeah. Okay, so, so here continue. we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, I introduced uh, the fact that inner landscape is more uh, with symbols and metaphors. Mm -hmm. So here we can see a picture of, uh, a depiction of how, how the organs uh, look like in the body. Mm -hmm. And you, you can see like the, the long lungs are like hanging down like a wine rank you say that yeah, yeah they're, they're hanging down in the body and you can see the kidneys and, and you, you can see they're not actual the way that we know them from our own anatomy books eh? you can see they're very different yes now if you if you see the next um, picture uh could you show the next slide oh yeah that's Maybe you can guess that's the stomach. That's that's rather close to the original, uh, the, to the not anatomic uh, anatomic version of it. Eh? Yeah. But if yeah. you see, like the next one is, the, I think it's the heart. Is it? Is the... No, that's long. Yeah, that's my favorite because you can really see from the way it's depicted what the function is of the of the lung. So yes. It's hanging down. It's it gives you a downward feeling has the, the keys going down it's, yeah. it gives you embodiment and it's it's it can it's it, it can it can make space yeah it's uh um and you can you can you can see it from the way it's it's it is uh, depicted here yes so and then even the the next one is then must be the heart uh, clip if you could show yeah, that. it's yeah, more yeah. like a cup of wine pouring over isn't it oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's you know you can see the aorta coming from it and you can see the the the, the veins and and the uh, the arteries but but it's more it's it gives a feeling of joy doesn't it you know it's there's a party there yes yes yeah so you can see it from these pictures they're not actual depictions of the anatomy it's more like it gives you a feeling of of the symbol that it uh, that it reproduces that it uh, symbolizes yeah? yes it's more it's more it feels to me more like the sort of um internal perception of the function as you feel it you know what i mean rather than yeah looking at it from the outside and just seeing the anatomy you know yeah yeah but so it's more like embodied yeah yeah the interesting thing though if you think about it the stomach because it's a yang organ and obviously the yang organs are more like tubes aren't they um yeah they don't have such a deep symbolism in chinese medicine it's mainly the yin organs that have yeah you know that house the shen and you know all do all of those more spiritual aspects so maybe mm -hmm. that's why they didn't worry too much about having the stomach as a bit of a tube <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, yeah, the, the, it did have much more to it than that. Yeah, the yeah, heart is like, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Should we go? Mm. Should we go on? Mm. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh well. Oh, oh yeah. 
maybe this is a good time to just to mention that some of these drawings are amazing but they they're they're rather big to fit on the screen so we're actually going to um share the whole share the pdf so you can see them in more detail later on um but maybe you can give uh, just a, an idea of what this um shows yeah there's there's many um depictions of the inner landscape yeah. Th this is one of them, and it's the most famous one, I think. It's uh -huh. called the Nijing Tu, yes. and it's it's found in the White Cloud Temple in Beijing. In okay. uh, and it's this picture as we know it now is found in in the 1886, but it's probably much older than that. Yes. But the funny thing is, is is if you go, I've never been there, but a friend of mine brought me uh, a rubbed off paper. So there's a, a stone. In the uh, at the White Cloud Temple, and it's uh, this, this drawing is 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 uh, marked in the stone, and you can ink it and then rub it off on on paper. Wow, wow that's amazing! And, uh, we should go there, huh? Yes, that's it. <laughs> and uh, so this is one of the. There's quite a few. Uh, there's there are many depictions of the inner landscape, but this is this is one of them. It's it's my favorite one. And the inner mm. landscape, just to be clear, the inner landscape, this picture is basically like a metaphoric picture of how we experience our whole body, energy body, isn't it? Basically. That's, that right? that's it. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's more, if, if we turn inside, yeah. we, we, could, we, could, uh, we could feel and witness this. It's like in this, in this body, is, uh, uh, all, the, all the organs are there, everything is there, but also uh, everything around us is there. It's like the yes. uh, microcosmos reflecting the, the macrocosmos. So yes. the sun and the moon, the stars, right, okay, the yeah. sea, the mountains, the, the forest, they're all mm. there. It's like you can make a walk in nature if you go inside. It sounds very much like um, you know, polyvagal theory, interception, the whole idea of, which has actually only just been discovered by Western psychology. They're very excited about it, that, there's a, that there is a whole perception of the internal body. And it's just really only just really been published and written about in the last 10, 15 years in the West. Wow. So it just okay. shows you. Yeah, uh, well, we, he did a webinar on that recently. That's really interesting, polyvagal theory. And there's a whole idea that this interest, uh, interception the, the, is the internal perception. But of course, they're just beginning it now. There's just, uh, whereas, of course, they've had like in China, there's been hundreds and hundreds of years of development. It's so sophisticated. Um, but it's essentially, you know, just it's the same. It's the same, but same this thing, is much, yeah. much older. Yeah. yeah. Because the, the, the amazing thing about the inner landscape is that it's always abundant and it's everything is there it's like um it is where it's more like a potentiality or like it's where the body comes from and where it will return to so even if your body is injured or um, there are so certain diseases your yeah. inner landscape is always full or is always complete or yeah so some, some people say like if you would look at the inner landscape as a as an ocean um yes. why would you work with the tip of a wave if there's an ocean because there's so much the chi landscape is so yes. very rich and so so we can always draw from there yes and so it's 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 uh, amazing to be cultivating this inner landscape and to yes. get to know it much better or yeah, yeah. I, I the other day i met a shinto priest and he told me that in his training he had to stand in the sea up until his uh, chin and to wait for his inner sun to come up really <laughs> to, to get warm <laughs> how can you imagine because the the, the sun is inside of you the, the, right. all the all the seasons are there all the kinds of weather all the it's 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 like the world inside of you you can experience dampness and cold and course, heat yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, with with the rest of the pictures we have taken um, details out of yes. it so we can look at it much better huh? yeah that's right and that's what you were saying in microcosm yeah. human autism yeah mm. okay cool so oh, this is another example of an uh, depiction of the inner landscape yes what's this about well it, it's is um 
usually the two of them hang together. They are in my dojo, they hang together, but this one is much harder to find information. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you can, if you look a little bit uh, at it, you can see that there, are all the the, the all the lunar the lunar cycle is there. There, the you can see the full oh, yes. moon and the new moon. Yeah. But you can also see the tri, tri the trigrams you call them from the I Ching. Yes, I Ching. Yes, and you see the, the you see some animals at the side and uh, the animals that come from the, the planets and the organs. They all have their own power animals or so the, this one is takes me another 10 years i think yeah. so the, in 10 years i do another webinar on this one <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, um, but it is a lovely picture as well it, yeah to, yeah, uh, yeah. And um, I, I notice it's got you can see that lung thing again that lung thing with the downward yeah, thing going the on there. Ring, yeah. yeah um birgit or hatchy her name is biggie her uh, nickname is biggie she's asked a question which is how are you culturing how are you culturing your inner landscape and i just put something in the chat because we are going to have a meditation halfway yeah. through the webinar and uh, joyce is going to show us how we can do exactly that so yeah hang on in hang on there and we'll get to that in a minute yeah this is a japanese drawing and i i thought it was very pretty because it has the the the, the three treasures which we're going to address a little bit later yes yeah. and you see the 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 three Danchens, the three elixir, elixir field, the lower Danchen, middle, yes. the heart, and the upper, the Shen. Yes. And it is, it's a different way of depicting, but I think I thought it was pretty too. Yeah, so I, I just put it in to, to show you that it's there's not just only one way of no uh, experiencing your in, inner body. Or, it yeah. sounds like there's a, a big tradition in uh, Japanese and Chinese art then in, in trying to depict the inner landscape in a lot of detail, really. I mean, it's amazing. It is, yeah. yeah. In fact, it's, you know, it's sophisticated in a different way, isn't it? It's sophisticated in a metaphoric and a sort of interceptive way. Um, but there's a lot of detail there. That's, uh, that's amazing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Do, do you see that? Then, oh, yeah, this, this is also very nice. Uh, I just put it in. Maybe you know it. It's the comic book about. Uh, I've never uh, seen this. No, what's that? No, it's, no. It's no. Wang, Wang, Di, Wang Di Najing, eh, the, the book of the Yellow Emperor. Yes. And uh, uh, it, uh, that's a book you can read the rest of your life because it's very poetic and but very deep as well. Yes, I've But they made a com comic book about it. Oh, really? So this is the Wang Di Najing uh, cartoon. Nice. And this uh, this this picture is of the um, of our organs, and they are depicted as uh, like officials of a country. So a, there's a judge, there's a general, there's a yeah. king, yeah. there's a uh, the very pretty uh, the very pretty pictures. I I think uh, so. It, it gives you another way of um, looking at our organs, more like officials that's that's also a funny way to look at it isn't it yeah no, and together right. they rule your country they rule your um, land yeah this is uh, a miniature hair huh, chosen from the liver is very strong and huh? yeah <laughs> he's a general he makes a decision he has a vision he's clear he knows what he wants he has a he has a purpose huh? You can see that, you know, from the picture, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's yeah. a lovely book. You, you should have it. Yeah. yeah, I'll get one definitely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is this is the king, and it, it says also. You, you, I think this book teaches you Chinese as well because it is always in Chinese and English. Mm -hmm. So here you see the king. You see the hat that usually the yellow emperor wears. Huh? The, the hat with the strings down. So the, the king is looked upon as the king. Uh, the heart is looked upon as the king, yeah? because he is um, he's ruling your country, your your body, and at the same time connecting with the heavens yeah? to um, to maintain a good balance with heaven. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Here's the the lower part of the. The picture that we just saw in the in the big and uh, the Nijing too. This lower part, you can see the waters down, and you see the the water. And it's if you saw the whole picture just before, it's like a trunk. It has no limbs. And this yes. is the lower part. This is the perineum. You call it? Yeah. 
in the, the, the bottom of our uh, of our trunk and you can, can see a boy and a girl on a water mill mm -hmm. and they, they make the water go upward again and you see the water mill and you see a big cauldron there cauldron yeah, with fire and you see the, the, the four Taiji symbols coming from there yeah, that's the, the fire and the, the heat in the lower the lower part of our body yeah? mm. this is the mm. The um, uh, lower down chain. Yeah, yes, the, the, the root yeah. of yin and yang, isn't it? This is the root of yin and yang. And the, the boy and girl are depicted as ovaria and the testes. Yeah, this is the, our sexual organs that produce yeah, the heat that is uh, the, the engine for our uh, for our the fire of our lower down chain. Mm. Yeah, great. Okay. So you see from the lower dungeon, you, you can, from the bottom, you can see the spine going upwards. And you can't see it here, but it's like a water going up. Maybe you see it a little bit inside, eh? the white, whitish part. Yeah. You can, you can also see uh, the, the plow, the buffalo and the plowman, they're plowing the earth. And that's, of course, a symbol for the earth energy, eh? for, the, yeah. for the cultivating uh, and transformating your your energy, your energy. Yeah? But, uh, that's 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 already a little bit more already the the, the middle burner. Yeah? But, uh, mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. This is the boy and girl uh, on the water mill with the cauldron, a little bit of the cauldron. They're lovely, aren't they? So the yin and yang yeah? that are making uh, the the polar polarization, yeah, and making the fire go yeah yeah it's a lovely drawing mm. it's the cauldron and the oh, yeah. taiji symbols eh? the like yin yang the, symbols uh, yeah some some of the charts that are uh, depicted from here they they put the five the fifth one inside because they think it's the <laughs> the five face symbol eh? oh, yeah. but, uh, this is an old-fashioned form is the, the earth the diligence also it's it is about the diligence the perseverance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to cultivate cultivate and to to plow the earth so it's ready to receive the seeds and to grow yeah. to transformate it's it's a lovely symbol i think for the earth yeah. earth energy yeah. yeah Oh, this, is more the, this is more the mi middle part. You see the lower part, you see a little bit, uh, you see the the, um, the, we the weaver. Mm -hmm. And she's weaving on the right right lower side. She's weaving silk, in fact, from moonlight. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> yeah. It says in, 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 the, in, the, in the characters beside it. And she's, she is the picture of, of Kidney Yin. So she's yeah. working hard. She's she's always working, like our kidneys are, and she's by that also feeding the. the on the left side, you see the, the forest. Yeah? You see that's the stands for liverwood. Yeah? So it, by the, the kidneys, uh, is, is feeding is uh, giving in the in the symbol of the five five face uh, symbols. You can see that the, the kidney yin feeds the. The liver, wow. and 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 in in the upper part you see the the symbol of the heart. And you, you 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 can maybe see you, you know when you see pictures of um, the Buddha or uh, Kuan Yin, you see always you see them they're sitting on uh, beds of the lotus flower. Right? So usually that's more like pinkish, or you can see that the flower flower is flowerish form on the outside. And you see this little boy there. Yeah? He's the bird, bird boy. Can yeah. you say that? Yeah. 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 And he holds the Big Dipper. He holds a little bit funny, but <laughs> it's the Big Dipper if you look at it uh, correctly. Yeah. And so the, the Big Dipper is a symbol of the cos cosmos, of course, and uh, it's the it's a very important star for the, for the Tao, for the people of the Tao, because it's it guides you because it has a north star. Yeah? Wow. So it gives you a guidance in life. But you can also see that this boy is standing on like a, a circle of brain. You see that 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 is like a symbol. It's the symbol going inside eh? the, the round circle. You can see it. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, so it's 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 therefore it's very important that the heart energy is uh, is um, has a good guidance. Eh? Has a, wow. so, and and you see because it's a boy, it's also the innocence, eh? the innocence that we have to uh, make very sure that we feed all the time our innocence, our uh, open mind, and uh, also especially because the heart is part of our communication eh? that we we should be open and innocent and yeah uh, yeah that's the symbol of the heart it's mm. amazing there's so much in there there's so much detail isn't there and so many images and everything it's incredible mm. yeah. yeah it is it is it's beautiful i think we need another 10 years to look at it <laughs> to study it because <laughs> there's no book who says what it is you know <laughs> All right. uh. yeah Shall we go on? You maybe you can you can see a little stream coming from up, going down because you you need sometimes you need to a little bit um, calm your heart yeah, by by some fluid yeah, mm -hmm. to yeah to nourish the heart with fluids or because it, heart can be very fiery of course yeah yeah wow. yeah cool should we go on yeah here's well, like another here's detail. detail yeah. You can see, you can see him again. Yeah. Mm. There's also a, a nice story uh, uh, that that the heart and the kidney, of course, that's our deepest uh, yin, of course, eh? the Shao Yin. Yeah. And heart and kidney are very connected because you know in the Shen and the Jing, they're they're very connected. And there's this story about that the uh, the weaving maiden and the and the, the herd boy had a relationship. Oh. This is a, like a mytho mytho mythology, yeah. and uh, the parents didn't approve of it. And then uh, the the mother of the weaving maiden put the Milky Way in between them. And and one once a year on the seventh day of the seventh month, uh, then there there is the, there comes a, a bridge of magpies to. To be able, so they can see each other once a year oh, on the seventh oh. day, and that's Valentine's Day in China and Japan. It's a it's a party <laughs> party, <laughs> and that's then when they those can uh, two can meet. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, here she is again, and now you see also you see the rib cage. Yeah? So the liver and the rib cage, and the weaving maiden. Yeah. And maybe uh, beside the weaving maiden, you could see the Ming Meng, eh? the, yeah. in the between the second and third vertebrae. There's the Ming Meng. That's the primordial energy that comes there. Eh? Oh. That gives the power to the to the lower uh, lower Don Yeah. Should we go? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Wow. This is the upper part. Eh? So what you can see is that the spine erects and then comes all the way up to the top of the head. And this is these are nine peaks of the Kunlun mountain. I've never been there, but it's supposed to be in the Himalayas. They're the sacred mountain of the Taoist, eh? Kunlun. And the Kunlun mountain, you can see the, the um, of course, by way, eh? the, the point that we know is GV20, tw uh, tw eh? uh, uh, all the way up. Yeah. And you see like a little pearl up up there. Eh? Yeah. So that's yeah. the connection to the heavens. But all of them have a connection with the uh, with the cosmos eh? up there. And but all different ones. And then you see the governing vessels coming down, and you see the conception vessel coming up. And they they don't meet in this picture, but you can see the drawbridge, well, which is a little bit lower. And when you place the tongue beneath the teeth. Yeah. Uh, then you can connect the, the governing vessel and the conception vessel. Mm. Mm. Matsy, 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 Matsy's wondering, Matsy's wondering uh, what the writing within what the writing says. Yeah, they're little they're little poems um, about what you can see, but they're poetic. I think they're yeah. There's, I I don't know I I don't know them, but uh, some of them are translated. How's your Chinese cliff? <laughs> My Chinese is not so good. <laughs> what you can see also in the upper uh, upper dungeon, uh, this is the the part of uh, 
the Shen. This is and and of course, the Shen is represented by Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu is the yeah, the the father of the Taoism, of, and he's there sitting in lotus, yeah, full lotus, mm -hmm. and he's the symbol of our consciousness. Okay, he's sitting there on top uh, of our head. And you can see two circles, that's the sun and moon, but it's also our eyes, yeah, the left and right eye. Oh. Oh. And, and when you go down, you see the, this like a pagoda, yeah, like a temple, yeah. with all the stories, with all the levels. And that's a throat, so that makes the connection again to the trunk. Wow. And there's lots of, lots of water and streams and lakes wow. that um, yeah. we have to look upon uh, later. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Shall we go? Mm, let's go. Oh. oh. Look at that. Are we ready? Look at that timing. 30 minutes exactly yeah yeah oh, great <laughs> perfect okay so you'd just like us to follow this meditation yeah and then we'll yeah go. let's do that yeah great. so when when you're sitting down or when you're standing up that that's okay but um make yourself comfortable that is uh and then i'll i'll introduce you with words to go in inside your own inner landscape and i'm i'm curious to know what you encounter there so first, uh, um, yeah, make make sure that when you sit, you're sitting on your sit, sitting bones, and your feet are to the ground. You can feel your ten toes and your heels, and maybe you feel your bubbling spring come up. And your your back is you're not leaning against the back of the chair. Just try to sit up straight, and your shoulders relaxed. And your um, your crown towards the heaven yeah? up. So I, I'd like you to ask to turn your gaze inside, or to maybe close your eyes and look inside. So close your eyes, and and try to re relax your eyes. So all the little muscles around the eyes, try to re relax them. And, and so your eyes become very soft and round. It's like you can feel your eyes in the socket, very loose and watery, soft. It's like the, the eyes you have when you wake up in the morning. They're very round and relaxed. And there's in the, and during the day, many lines show up in your face yeah, by all the things you want and need and want to express. I'd like you to ask to, to leave all those lines, drop your jaw a little bit, and then put back two lines from the corner of your mouth to the point of your ears and beyond, and pull it a little bit. So your corners of your mouth go a little bit up, a little inner, inner smile. And your pointy ears hear all the sounds. You hear my voice. Maybe you hear the wind or you hear music. And you kind of think about those sounds as being safe. You just notice them. And then try to, to feel or to hear the silence in between those noises. You contact the silence. And the silence you bring below by the, th the throat towards the chest. And your chest, usually we look at the chest as the, the place where the heart resides in the lungs. And you you imagine a flower being there. This is a symbol of the heart, flower. And the flower is still like a bud, just a little bit closed. And the flower has a stem that goes all the way down to the Ming Meng, and maybe to the soles of your feet, if you can feel it, bubbling spring. And then slowly, when you open uh, your 
flower. It can be any flower. But you feel like it can open in your, in your chest. And you, you try to feel this loving feeling to the people that, that are dearest to you. That you love uh, your children, your partner, your best friend, your, your nicest cat. All the, the people and, and animals around you that you truly love. So you open towards them and, and realize you're you're not alone. You're connected. All these people and animals that you love, and you're not only in this loving feeling towards those, those people, but also towards yourself. So you make contact with your lower dungeon, with your hara. The hara is your own vitality, your own life energy. And you contact that. You, you love your own vitality, your own life, your own body. And to contain all this, you need to close your perineum. And you make a little sound. It's like a sound. You can make it. And then you feel a little contraction, so your your bottom is closed. Now you are in your inner landscape. The silence in your upper part, the flower in the middle, and connection with your heart. How's that? You can slowly start closing the meditation. Open your eyes. Yeah. How was it? We want to find out, don't we? If you can just come out of meditation and just let us know what kind of experience you had. It's kind of nice to stay there. Huh? I think oh, we yeah. lost the audience on our clip. <laughs> yeah, no one wanted to come out of it. That's what it was. <laughs> I, I wonder if you could contact the inner landscape. Definitely, yeah. Was, it was a very good way of setting it up because you had that image and you left it open of what kind of flower it was. You know, mine was very small and then it opened out. It was a bit like a tulip. And it went through different colours, but it settled on red, you know. So, mm. so I thought that was interesting. And then once the flower was there, it had to, it. It gave it. just gave a space for me to just explore, and I was exploring all around the lower part of the Dantian, just experiencing it. it. Reminded me very much of some of the work Pauline did in the '90s when she was doing a lot of work with the yogic locks, with the lower locks. You know, mm -hmm. it was the same kind of thing. Um, and I do similar a similar exercise called body scanning, like internal body scanning. But I don't have any uh, structured imagery with it, you know. So it was really yeah. interesting to actually have a structured imagery to start the process off, you know. And I think mm. probably looking at all those amazing pictures so it was like firing all these ideas off, you know. But look, let's see what we've got in the chat. Look, we've got loads of different things here. Oh, we've got, have you, can you see the chat? I open yeah. it now. Yeah. Oh. Someone else got a red rose. Wow, there's so many. There's literally like a hundred here. I don't think we can read them all out. Um, there's some rivers. <laughs> Suddenly wow. realized how tired I was and wanted to go to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> pink, pink flowers. Oh, someone had a yellow and an orange flower. That's interesting. Pink is pink is a favorite. Hmm. A lot of peacefulness, rainbow colors, sea and mountain landscape, 
silent in the head, profound and beautiful. <sighs> Amazing. It took them back to different things. Wow, nice. That's an amazing days. experience. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was great, absolutely great. And it's very interesting to have that. I think the combination of seeing those amazing pictures and then having it really, having a, a concrete thing like a, an sound. image to, to mm. um, work on was really, really effective, yeah. Yeah, yellow and white flower. A lot of water, there's a lot of flowing water. You have to record this meditation. <laughs> it is recorded. The whole I know, I know that. Uh, <laughs> the whole thing is the whole thing is being recorded, so you can always use the YouTube video that we're going to create. That would be fine. Mm. Um, brilliant. Mm. It was interesting taking the route down to Kidney One because that sort of gave a real connection with the Earth, and mm. then when we closed the lower lock, it kind of contained it in the, and that's what happened to me. It kind of contained it in the Dantien's more, um, you know, yeah. there was yeah. two stages there. Um, it's amazing that you all give. Oh, that's interesting. Biggie says there's a, there's a meditation like this in waking the tiger. That's Peter Levine's book about, um, oh. uh, trauma recovery. Do you know yeah, that? I know. Yeah. 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 I know. Um, wow. Fantastic. Okay, well, we've only got 20 minutes left. Time is speeding past. It always does in these webinars. So should we go on? Um, yes, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what does the click sound? But Biggie wants to know about the click sound. It closes the... So it is a, it is a, a, a T sound. T. 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 And, uh, and then, you, you know, I could ask you to just simply pull the... The, uh, the perineum, you say? Perineum, yeah. But then some people would close it too much. If you just make the sound, it would just give it just enough, um, um, yeah, just enough power to to close it without over over pulling it. Or, yeah, because some people tend yeah. to squeeze it too much, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it's a very soft way of uh, addressing it. Yeah. Oh, Karina's got an interesting question. She says, "Do you should we reopen it after the meditation?" Reopen the perineum. Oh, but that that's with the T sound. It's ju it's just it's just enough, and and you, it can stay that way. Yeah, you don't need to. So worry it's about just it. to re to remind you to not have a to 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 to, to contain your uh, your uh, three dungeons, and and it can stay like that. Yeah. You you when you sit a lot, you it opens anyway. <laughs> Yes. If you can't go to the toilet afterwards, you're holding on too tight, right? Please open it. <laughs> Please open it then. Yeah. I know that from the Kegels exercises. I've done those myself. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, shall we go on? We've only got 15 minutes yeah. left, so we better have a look at some of these slides. Oh, here we go, the, the different Dantians. Yeah, so I just introduced you to it, but now I wanted to tell you a little bit about them. Yeah. So this is the... Um, the opening for to to realize we have these three fields that I told you about in the pictures, and it's the three dungeons, and you see the character. I love it so much because the lower character you can see it's a field. Uh -huh. Now it's the the character of a field, and the uh, the character above it is the word done. That's that's it's it's about yeah. Elixir, or da, uh, it's about um, cinnabar. Uh, that's the precious, the precious metal that that uh, the Taoists wants to obtain to, uh, to gain immortality. So it's it's very precious. What is in this field, mm. and that, that's that's a that's a good notice. It's something that you should cherish and and train and hold and and yeah cultivate. Yep. And uh, there are three Dantians in uh, our body, and uh, we already experienced them by now. So it's the lower Dantian, the Hara, mm -hmm. the middle Dantian, that's the heart region where the boy is with the big dipper, and mm -hmm. the upper Dantian where the, where the um, Kunlun mountain is. And usually it's, it's said to be around this area, the Yin Tang area between the eyebrows, yeah, where yeah. the third, third eye is also. So yeah. we could say, uh, there are three 
the three Dantians are in these regions. Yes, three very precious fields. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. It's lovely to have them spoken like that. Hmm. Yeah. Should we go on? Yes, please. Aha, here we go. Oh, there's another poll. Yeah, another poll. Okay, we want to know how much you know about the three treasures. Okay, so let's do that, everyone. Do you know about the concept of the three treasures? There we are. Yeah, lots of people do. That's good. Yeah, about half the people do, and half are not sure or they don't. So we'll have to see how we get on. Yeah. So mm -hmm. let me go back onto the chat. Okay. Thank you for yeah. that. So let's see. Let's let's see what's next. There we are. So here they are. So mm -hmm. we just talked about the three dungeons, and they each contain their own uh, treasure. And in the lower, in the lower. Dan Chen in the in the Hara, there's the cultivate or there's the, the place where the Jing resides. I think you say Jing too, uh, Philip? Jing? Yeah, Jing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's our primordial energy. Huh? That's your the gift uh, that is given by your parents and the forefathers. Huh? The Jing is mm -hmm. that's residing and that's giving you the vital, vital, very material. Uh, energy in your uh, in your hara, and we all train it as uh, shelter therapists, and it gives a lot of power huh? and vitality. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So in the in the middle part where the heart resides, that's the other part that uh, that we connect and uh, communicate with. That's uh, that's where the chi resides or the key. And so this is the part I think most of our clients want uh, treatments upon because they. They have emotions. They have, uh, they have uh, all the organs. They that work in the five phase element cycle. They, they, um, uh, they are out of balance. So this is this is the part that you probably treat most with. Also, you being a practitioner, that's where you treat from, mm -hmm. with the jing in the background, of course. Yeah, and this is this is uh, where a lot of lots of stuff lots of stuff happens in this in this chi level, mm -hmm. and if you treat uh, on the in the upper dungeon, that's where your shen resides. It's, it's more spiritual. It's more aerial or more. It's no. It has no time and space. It's 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 more wonder and consciousness. And this is where allowed uh, uh, resides. And this is our more spiritual. Uh, uh, world and of course we address it when we work with spirits and when we were very still and very uh, mm, uh, not so much in the body yet uh, it's a more yeah more very uh, shen like very spirit yeah yeah i have no words there are no, no. words in the shen <laughs> just i'll just interrupt you a second just just shows you how amazingly vital these uh, webinars are we've actually had a post from Rena who's actually found an explanation and a translation of those poems oh. and she's put a link in the chat and I'll make sure that I take that link and I'll share it with um with you uh when I send out an email about Great. the recording and stuff so thank that's you, just so cool thank you Rena that is just so cool yeah brilliant hmm. okay so shall we move on we've only got 10 minutes left now so it's oh, still ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. this is uh, this is of course um, this webinar is uh, like a teaser for you to to come to the workshop and in, in the in the Shatsu Congress in Amsterdam, yeah. September. Yeah. So what what we what I've introduced now is the uh, the three dungeons and the three treasures, mm -hmm. and my aim is to to show you how to cultivate the three dungeons and therefore to uh, as a as a result train your three treasures to be not only as a human being but also as a practitioner to be really vital and strong in your jing in your lower in your hara which you already trained mm -hmm. but but can you can be much more aware of that but from there you you train to be aware and to be um, to open your flower and communicate with your, with your clients. 
and to be aware um, what they need from you on which level. Mm-hmm. And and of course, if if you want to enhance your diagnostic skills, you you should try to open your upper dungeon, your your shen to, to see what your senses can't see and yeah? what you can't feel or you can't see with your eyes, but what what you can see with your shen. Yes, this is interesting yes. to be able to work with from these three layers, from these three um, parts of your body, to be aware what happens. Yeah, what uh, what your what your what your clients need, but also what you have to train in yourself to become more and more conscious about your yourself and your work. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And this is one of the most exciting things for me because that um, those um, concepts and that whole idea of not working just from the hara and for working on different levels like the shen level is so, so close to what Pauline Sasaki developed um, from the Zen Shiatsu system. It's pretty much the same kind of idea um, uh, with the vibrational levels work. And uh, it's just so, that's just so, so amazing for me to hear hear that. And that's one of the things I'm really excited about. And um, as we discussed in the rehearsal, I think it would be so cool if we could, uh, in Amsterdam, if we could get maybe a round table and, um, be able to have a meeting of all the different Zen yeah. Shatsu teachers around yeah. the place, because I'm sure that many of us have been working individually and we're working on the same, on the same issues because when Masanaga died, he died quite young and he definitely said when he died that he hadn't completed the, the system, that it needed yeah. more development. Yeah. Um, and that, and that was a kind of challenge in a way that was taken up. And one of the big things that Pauline and I identified was the fact, as he said himself, that he wished he'd spent more of his life working on the soul level, um, that consciously developing our work so that it works more on the spiritual level is definitely something that was missing um, when he died. And it's just so exciting for me to hear you mm. coming up with these ideas. It's just so it's just so brilliant. Um, yeah. We've got... Um, Someone's asked about signing up for the Congress. Can we choose our seminars yet? And Daphne said, not yet. You will receive an email, I think, around March or April. And I know for sure that many of the European Shiatsu Congress team are on this webinar. So no doubt they've heard that and they'll be working on that. Uh, <laughs> here's, <laughs> here's a little... Um, I know what you. I know that probably about. We did a poll on the previous first webinar, and around a third of the people on the webinar had actually already bought their tickets. Um, now, if you're one of the people that haven't bought your tickets yet, and you're thinking, "Oh no, I've missed the early bird," I, and "Oh, what am I going to do?" Um, then watch out because the new energy work. Because we're putting on all these webinars and we're you know supporting them, we've got a partnership with the European Shatsu Congress, and we're. We are going to be soon given a discount code for New Energy Work members. So um, and we'll give you more information of that because you're on our mailing list. OK, so that's our kind of deal that we've done with the European Shatsu Congress because we're doing this as a partnership. And just so that you've got something to work with between now and next September. OK, we've got uh, our final poll, which is um, if you are going to the Congress or even if you're not, because and this is just a tip. If you can't get there, um, uh, New Energy Work is going to be live streaming and we're going to be producing a video version of the Congress if you can't make it. Of course, it'd be great to see you there. So you're going to see the heart wow. of our team here. Um, but what uh, Joyce has asked us to do in the last few minutes of this webinar is just ask you what topic would you like her most to focus on if you do go to the Congress or if you join the online event? Which one, which one of these three um, topics would you most like her to cover? And then, that, then she can start doing her lesson planning now. I, I can forget got, all about the history. <laughs> you've got plenty of time. Yeah, you see, they don't want. You have to write an article about the history. And then okay, <laughs> that'll 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 have that covered. Yeah. It's pretty no, much split. Right. Actually, it's interesting. Most of them are actually interested in. Um, very practical. Yeah? I would love to. I would love to do a swap with you or something one time, and we can just see how yeah, we do it. it. How we do it? Because I've got um, some techniques that I've developed that from Pauline's work, 
which are basically about tuning into the inner landscape of the receiver by using scanning techniques kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um, and uh, that would be I'm sure that's going to be very close to how you use it in your practice um, because one of the exciting things that I've found by developing the energy work side of things is monitoring the effects of the acupuncture points by tuning into the inner landscape, you know, because the actions of the uh, acupuncture mm -hmm. points are very mm -hmm. metaphoric in themselves, aren't they? And they link to the... Yeah, by the names and the poetical yeah. names. Yeah, that, true. Yeah, absolutely. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So I can't wait. It'd be great. Okay, so look, what have we got? We've got... 60% of people want to know how to use it in practice hmm. and 38% would like to know how to cultivate it yourself. So that's going to be your task, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you okay. very much yeah. for this uh, back feedback. Okay. So, oh, Monica wants pulse diagnosis, but right? I think that might be slightly outside of the remit. Um, <laughs> all right. Okay. Nick says, Nick said, yes, great idea. There will be an open space forum in ESC 2020 for that kind of discussion. That would oh, be great. so cool. Yeah, that'd be great. great yeah, because Nick yeah. Cole is one of the European Shatsu Congress UK coordinators. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, well, I, if you've got a chance to say thank you to Joyce in the chat, you can do that right now because we're going to wind up the webinar. I think that's okay unless you've got any final questions. Um, we just... Uh, yep, everyone's sending the... <laughs> oh, look, it's all in Dutch. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at this. I love it. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Mm, I love it. Yeah. You've got a lot of Dutch fans out there, I can see. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd like just like to say what a pleasure it's been meeting you. It's been great. I, I enjoyed the webinar as much as I did the rehearsal. We spent quite a bit of time together over the last week, and I'm really looking forward to meeting you um, in, um, in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, me too, Cliff. It's going to be an awesome event. It's going to be so great. I'm really looking forward to it. Mm, and, yeah, uh, excellent and thank you everyone for enrolling on um, on the webinar next year we've got a new feature which is a series webinar which means you're only going to have to sign up once for the whole series for next year so less typing in your name mm, that's, good. that's yeah. a new feature that's just been developed so next year we'll be able to put all the rest of the sequences sequenced um, webinars they all will they all will occur on the second Tuesday of every month so keep that time free um, and we have the European, uh, we have the New Energy Work Open Webinar on the first Tuesday of the month. So, just before that. So, <laughs> oh, we've got some. We've got a Russian thank you there. There we are. That's new. <laughs> that's, that's enough. <laughs> okay. So, thank you very, very much. They all love the meditation, and it's been a great pleasure. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in. Amsterdam thank you so much, Cliff. Next time. See you. Yeah? Okay. See you there. Bye bye. Thank bye -bye. you, everyone. <laughs> thank you, Cliff. <laughs>